Good morning, everyone. How y'all doing? Good. Good. So, how many of you just started school? Show of hands. Okay. So, how many of you are about halfway? Couple. Okay. So, how many of y'all are just about ready to get out there and get the okay, function? So, good. About thirty percent across the board. Okay. So, the stuff you're learning right now is probably going to be totally different in about two years. So. In case y'all you figured that out, technology is changing. Just when you think you got something figured out, somebody changes the rules and then Google opens up in your backyard. So you gotta figure it out, you gotta reinvent yourself. So you gotta pull out your crystal ball right now and say, what am I gonna do two years from now? You got to. If you don't, well, you know, you could stand in the unemployment line, but that really stinks. It's no good. So you wanna figure out what you're gonna do before you need to do it. So that's just something that I'm going to encourage you with. Um, I am uh, Roger Swanson. I've been in business in computer support since 1998. I started in technology in 1980. Busted, I'm dated. Okay, when I started working on computers, all we had was a little LED screen, and we put a couple of machine code numbers in, and it control relays, and we were elated. We we're like, woo, the relay blew. So uh, that <laughs> tells you. <laughs> How far things have come. Now you got all this graphics and all this cool stuff. So whether you're going to get into the hardware support, which there's always still going to be a need for somebody to grab the cable and go over and plug it in and make it work, or figure out what's the little blinky lights doing, or the software person that sits back in the little white room. We call it the padded white room because you go crazy doing that stuff. So y'all can keep that. I mean, these guys do the software. More power to you. I do the hardware. We do a. a a blend of services, and we do a little bit. Have you ever heard of the term managed services? Anyone ever heard that term? What does that mean to you? Oh, I'm gonna give away some mouse pads. Hang on. <laughs> I got mouse pads. We got stuff. And you can throw them. I can throw them? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody in the back. <laughs> All right, so anybody heard the term managed services? Managed services? All right. Yes. What is man? What do you? If you have something you're managing and it's a service, yes. They outsource their their uh, IT help desk and whatnot. That's pretty close. We'll give you a bonus pad for that. All right. What else? What do you think? If you're managing something and it's a service and it's a term, we use a thing called a remote management tool. It's really cool. You have total visibility of all the software, all the processes. I can issue a command. I don't even have to bug the user. I can say, uh, I want to see what the IP of that machine is. I go, whoop, and it brings back and tells me the IP, the gateway, the mask. I can see stuff that I don't even, you know, I couldn't do this stuff two years ago. Right, that's the way the tools have changed. This really strong stuff. Okay, so that's called a remote management and monitoring tool. So if you're monitoring it, and this is a managed service, all right, now break fix is something different. Okay, break fix. What do you think break fix is? It's a tough one. Break, it's broken, you fix it. We have one. If it's broke, you fix it. Okay? <laughs> break fix. <laughs> Wake up. All right? So you've got break fix, you got managed services, you got software solutions, software management tools, all kind of cool stuff that's out there. Get your head around this. Okay? I did a lecture back here about two years ago, and I was talking about the digital gadgets out there. How many little digital gadgets we got? Uh, Cato has the, what is that thing, the color deal? What is that? Fire. 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 Who said fire? Somebody said fire. She said fire. I gotta get this away. All right, so all these little gadgets, how much do they cost? About 200 bucks? 200 bucks. Who said 200 bucks? He said 200 bucks. Yay! All right. So those things are cheap. How much is a desktop used to cost about a year ago? A thousand, two thousand? Crazy buck. You know what? When I started, I was in the military. I was in submarines for 12 years, had a great time, and got out. And I enjoyed it and loved it. I would go back and do it again if they'd have me, but you know. <laughs> but the thing is, is that when I bought a computer back then, it was an 8086, and I was elated because it could do cool stuff and I could do some of my schoolwork. That thing cost $2,000. Now you've got a little eye gadget. You can use Dropbox. Anybody heard of Dropbox? Yeah. Yeah. Y'all use that? Is that cool or what? I mean, and it's free. You gotta love the price. So there's a lot of cool stuff out there that's free. So you got break fix, you got software, you got services. There's all these little areas. You've got to get
get your head around where you want you want to fit into this puzzle called technology. All right? There's some cool stuff that we're doing to help out the community. All right? I encourage you to get involved. We have donated equipment. When we update a customer's server, they say, well, what do I do with this old server? So don't throw it away. Give it to me. All right? And we take it. We wipe the data out. And we use a process that takes 11 hours to run. It, right? It's a Gutman process. And if y'all are interested, look it up. Right? Google it. Get her done. Right? It's easy. You want to find something? Look it up. It's easy. Y'all make it any harder, shame on you. Because technology is there. We didn't have these tools when I was younger. So if you don't use them, you're crazy not to. You go um, and find out, if, and if any of you guys could do me one favor, help us out. We're trying to find community, nonprofits, church groups, I don't care who it is. If they're doing something for the community, I want to help them. Okay? So what we're looking for is students like you to volunteer your time. Then we take the equipment that's donated and we made a little, we said, you know, we need to do something with these servers. But we don't have the time necessarily to always spend working the building. Okay, so cool. Let's invite you to do a server project build. So we put two people on a server. I got one of my senior techs, and you know what? The biggest thing I can do to motivate people to show up for an event? Beat them. How about that? Isn't that cool? Y'all do wonderful and marvelous things for pizza. Pizza and donuts and coffee. It's amazing. So uh, we do a server project. It's two people on a, on a lab desk. You got the server there, it's already wiped out. There's nothing on it. We run the Gutman process, it wipes the data out. The tech signs a white letter. We give that to the person who donated the computer saying, none of your personal stuff is on here, right? So we wipe those out. We wanna, we're gonna do 10 people at a time. The first one's coming up this Saturday. We've already got it almost booked up. So the blue sheets for the server project to build servers. It's gonna be a 2003, or a 2008 server, it's going to be small business. I don't, you know, I don't really care, and I think the people that we donate to servers really don't care. They buy the license from TechSoup. You ever, anybody ever heard of TechSoup? Mm -mm. What's TechSoup? Somebody tell me. Technology Soup. Technology Soup. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that doesn't get away. Sorry. <laughs> but, uh, no. TechSoup, you never heard of TechSoup? No. no. It's okay. It's a website, yes! <laughs> All right. Now, what it is, it's a place where nonprofits that are 501C and just techsoup.org, okay? If you know anybody that has a nonprofit or a church group or anybody, tell them go there. They can buy their software for cheap. I mean, you can get a copy of Office for like 20 bucks. A full, no kidding, and this is something part of Bill Gates' little philanthropy thing. So, use that. So they get the software, they get the license, we load it on there, and then all they do is they put their key on it, boom, they're done. We've given servers to Habitat for Humanity, the Low Country AIDS, all kind of people. We've given these things to church groups, we've outfitted, uh, there's, a, there's a small uh, uh, school down on Azalea Drive, we've outfitted their whole lab. They got 45 some odd computers, just donating computers. Guess what, we put Ubuntu Linux on it. Who knows anything about Linux in here? Y'all doing that? Okay, well, put some of that to use. Come on, sign up on the volunteer program. So the volunteer program for any projects, give us some projects that y'all know about that need to be done. Server projects, sign up, and we'll put you in front of a server, and you can ask all kinds of crazy questions. It doesn't matter if you're doing software or hardware or whatever. It's good for you to get the experience. Another little bullet you can put on your resume. Y'all are talking about resume, right? There you go. There's some stuff for it. Y'all have a great day. Good luck with all your schoolwork.